Good morning everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. Today is Monday, it's actually the afternoon, it's midday and I've just spent the morning catching up on emails. I've been um, getting last week's vlog edited and is scheduled to go up I think at the end of the week. Um, yeah, I think that's going up on Thursday so you would have already watched that. And yeah, I've just been getting all my schedules ready for content and things. And I've also had a couple of deliveries this morning that I wanted to share with you. And also some over the weekend. So I'm going to do a little PR unboxing with you right now. Um, if you're not interested in that, skip forward a few minutes. I will try and do it as quick as I can. But these are just things that have been sent to me from brands, kindly gifted. Um, all of them are kind of like not on the basis that I have to post, it's just if I really like them I can post. So yeah, I handpick the things that I am sent, so everything that I show you from brands will always always be something that I love, something that I'd buy myself, brand that I love, I'll never show you anything that I don't like or I don't use. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, first of all, I just want to show you my outfit today because this is something that I was um sent over the weekend and i'm absolutely obsessed with it so this is an it's actually a long line cardigan let me show you it so it's got super long down to the floor i'm just wearing it with my adenola leggings and my napco sleep bra um and then i've got my white company slippers on honestly these type of things are so great for working from home or you know when you want to wear your dressing gown like it's this morning it was pitch black and pouring down at like 6 a.m until probably like 10 and then the sun came out and it's quite nice now but it's still really cold and i just feel like really chilly today so this is the perfect thing because it feels like a dressing gown but a really chic option and i absolutely love this color it's like a chenille fabric it's so lovely this is from charlie london i will actually link all of these pieces down below i love this brand i've only just discovered it recently on instagram and i'm in love with it um i feel like it's not really that known so get onto the website and get yourself some new bits for autumn because they've got some amazing knitted pieces um i also picked out a couple of jumpers to see what they were like and to style up for autumn this one is a chenille fabric again um it's actually i think it's the same color as this yeah same color as the cardigan but it's a jumper and it's got like a little polo neck option on it let me pop this on and show you what it looks like here's the jumper on just a super comfy slouchy knit i'll show you the length of it so it's just like a nice boxy fit so perfect to like tuck into jeans or something um i love this neckline as well i think it's super flattering with the collar detail like that i absolutely love it i think this came in a few other colors as well um which is lovely because you can choose something to suit you but this is like my favorite color palette for autumn i actually love this i think this will look amazing with leather trousers as well like this really cozy fabric against the leather i kind of want to keep this on now i love this okay this is the next knitted piece i'm in love with this so much it's like a super big balloon sleeved knit honestly when i tell you this is the softest thing i have ever felt it's so soft it almost feels like a thick cashmere or something hello oh my god i love this i think charlie is going to be my new autumn staple brand honestly this is unbelievable this is in one size so it's just one size fits all and this is the pale grey colour. They've got like gorgeous balloon sleeves, which I love. You can obviously kind of fold this up if you wanted it. Maybe a little bit more like a cropped arm. Um, and then it is super long. So it kind of comes down to like, I don't even know if you can see that. It comes down quite low. 
on my legs but i love that because you can wear it with leggings and it covers your bum and you can wear like tight trousers with a baggy jumper i love again this would look amazing with leather leggings like really tight leather trousers i just love this this neckline of a knit is exactly what i look for and the color the fabric everything it's just so cozy i love how it's looking with my dark hair as well absolutely love this so huge thank you to charlie for sending me these pieces and i know i will be back on the site ordering some more bits because i'm obsessed with this brand so get yourself down in the description and pick up some pieces for autumn okay i've just sat down so i can show you a couple of other pieces firstly i just received this delivery from aloe yoga this morning how big is this box um they've sent me so many gorgeous bits and I can't wait to share them with you. So, so they've sent me over an outfit, like a complete outfit. So, firstly, I've got this gorgeous little black lounge bra. I will link all these pieces down below as well. This is in an extra small. That is honestly so soft. I love that. Also, one thing I really like about... Um, kind of like lounge workout bras like this is when they don't have a fastening at the back when it's just like a almost like a sports bra kind of vibe because when you're I often wear these for Pilates and yoga and stuff when you're laying on your back if it's got a fastening at the back it really digs in so that is always something I really look for with these little like um soft tops and I don't really need much support so like these Napco ones are perfect for Pilates and stuff like that as well so they've also sent me a pair of their high waist airbrush leggings. These are in an extra small as well. Just a classic pair of black leggings. These look unbelievable. They actually look like the perfect length as well because I am pretty short. These are the new 24 inch inseam. So yeah, they should be perfect for me. And then I absolutely love this. I think I might wear this today, actually. It's a long sleeve top. And I actually really need things like this in my wardrobe. I feel like I really lack basic items like this. But they're such a staple. So it's just this gorgeous little wrap over black top. Like super slinky. Really soft. And yeah, then it's got the little aloe at the back. Long sleeve. Looks like a really nice long sleeve as well. I love a long super long sleeve and this is extra small too and then they've even sent me a little hat which is fab because i don't actually have a nice black baseball cap and i love a baseball cap love that so nice some little socks these are like my favorite socks to wear you know like the kind of sport like almost the nike adidas kind of style these look lovely and super thick and then I've even got a tote bag, which these are just so handy. I take these everywhere. I always take them to the supermarket to put my bits in. I love having these. They're so good. And this pattern is really gorgeous. I haven't got any like this, actually. I love that. So big. So thank you so much, Alo Yoga. I am really excited to wear all these bits next week. Okay, so I've also just got a couple of products that I want to share with you. I actually bought this the other day. Um, it's the Olaplex Blonde Toning Shampoo. And I know my hair's not blonde, but purple shampoos also work really well on my hair um, just to get rid of any, like, brassy tones. And actually, right now, it's not looking too bad. But the other day, I was thinking the toner had gone quite um, warm, quite red. And it's actually not too bad right now, but I've bought this purple shampoo just in case i want to use it and also i can use it if i ever get any more like um face framing highlights or anything like that i can obviously have this um in my collection because i love olaplex so so much so i really wanted to try this on my brown hair because i have still got my balayage in the bottom i've just got a toner over it so you can see like the lighter bits at the bottom so it will obviously work because my hair is bleached so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this. That's what I wanted to show you. I'll link all these bits down below in case you want to try them out yourself or have a look at them online. 
But my plan for right now is to go and eat some lunch because I'm really hungry and I need to work on some blog posts today. So it's just a boring at home admin day, but I quite like these because it makes me feel really motivated um, and pre prepared and organized and stuff. So I'm gonna go sit downstairs and have some lunch and get my laptop and do some writing. <laughs> It's 10 o'clock and I need to get ready. I've got a shoot day today for a Monday client, which is very exciting. But I've had so many questions on Instagram about what I'm doing um, differently with my makeup and my skin and what products I'm using. So I thought I would do a quick breakdown on my stories, which I've just started doing. And then, oh my God, nothing is uploading. It, they're all uploading in the wrong order. I'm basically having a massive stress with it. So I thought I would come on here and do a proper breakdown so I can just link it for my stories and you guys can just come and watch properly on here. So first of all, I always do my skincare. Um, I cleanse my skin in the morning and then use my UFO um, clarifying face oil from Sunday Riley. Then I use my ice Sunday Riley ceramide moisturizing cream. Is that gonna focus? I absolutely love these products. I've used them for well over a year now and I just cannot recommend them enough. I then use my autocorrect eye cream from Sunday Riley. And I then put on my lip balm, which is the Lip Glow Dior Lip Balm. This is in the shade 001. Obsessed with this, absolutely love it. Really, really recommend. Then I use my YSL primer. This is so good. It's the one with like little gold flecks in it and it's so so nice at just smoothing out your skin blurring it and it keeps your makeup on all day then i've just done a super thin layer of my dior forever 24 hour wear um skin carrying foundation i use the shade 3w0 i love this i just do a really thin layer and then buff it on with my morphe 2 brush which is such a nice brush just for like blending it around the whole whole face then I just go over any blemishes, any scars under my eyes with my NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. Again, literally used this for so, so many years and I love it. Um, blush, I've got three favourite blushes at the moment. I've already done all of those steps, so now we're on to blush. My three favourites are Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand, which is a bit more of like a darker, richer colour. Then I also love the Prism Libre Givenchy blush. This is like a little um, powder puff and then it's split into four. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's the shade three, Coral. Royal Coral, number three. I absolutely love this, it's so beautiful. And it really just like presses into the skin. And then I also absolutely love my Hourglass um, Vanish Stick. This is the shade Devoted such a gorgeous pink color and it, again it just looks really natural and like flushed on the skin which is kind of the look that i love so i've already just popped on a little bit of this pillow talk one but because i'm shooting today i like my blush to just be a little bit more stand out for the camera because sometimes your face can get a little bit washed out so i just literally pat it on 
with the powder puff and then use my Morphe brush. This is a little like um, blush brush and I just blend that in. You can kind of see the colour is just super natural. Um, yeah, just a really nice flush to the skin. Okay, then I'm going to add a little bit of glow into my skin. This is my Givenchy, what is this called? Highlight? It doesn't really have a name on it. Givenchy Highlight. It looks like this, the cutest little packaging. And then it's got like a little lipstick kind of um, applicator. And I just dot this along my cheekbones and then just a little bit on my nose. I love that applicator because it's so small so you don't get too much product. And a little really does go a long way. It's such a natural glow. I'm just gonna do my brows. So the products I use are both from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I'm using the Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. I love this pencil because it's super, super thin and I only need a tiny bit of filling just at the front of my brow, just where it's a little bit more sparse. Honestly, the tiniest bit just to add a few brush strokes to the front. So this is my everyday makeup, super natural, um, nothing crazy. And then I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel just to set that in place. I've used quite a few brow gels in my time. My eyebrow hairs are really long and they never ever stay in place. Um, I'm not like a huge lover of the whole like brushed up eyebrow look. I think sometimes it can just look a bit too fake. Um, I like them to be brushed up a little bit and a little bit thicker, but not too over the top. So yeah, as you can see, they're brushed up a little bit, but nothing crazy. Um, I've used so many brow products that I like, but they're not amazing. And I always go back to this one. I just love it. It's clear, but it doesn't have like any residue. I find the um, Refi Beauty one is really good at holding, but because it's white, I find that it just dries quite white in my eyebrow hairs. And this one, I just love. So I'll, again, I'll link that down below. Um, then I'm just gonna go on to my lashes. I've been using this combination for the last week and oh my God. I love it so much. So I've already curled my lashes. I might actually curl them again. I think I've told you before, but my lashes are falling out, which is just so sad. And if anyone has any like recommendations for anything for lashes, that would be amazing. Every time I um, go to do my mascara or anything, I just feel so many lash hairs falling out, which is so annoying. Um, but I'm using the Dior Show Maximizer 3D Lash Primer Serum. You can use this overnight as like a conditioner or you can use it like I'm doing under your mascara. Sorry, I literally find it so hard to see in the viewfinder when I'm doing my mascara. Um, so I just basically apply it like a normal mascara to my lashes and because my eyelashes are quite thin lately, um, I'm finding that it's really difficult for my mascara to go on. My lashes feel really fine and really like, I don't know what the word is, they feel really fragile. Um, so just using this primer has helped so much at like maintaining the curl, um, maintaining length, Volume, I honestly, now I've trialed it, I will never not use this. I absolutely love it. So I just um, apply that to both of my eyes just so that it can have time to sink in and just become a little bit tacky. Iconic Overcurl Mascara. This is so good and I absolutely love it paired with that primer. Okay, so that's my mascara done. Then all I do now is just my lips. So I'm gonna use my favorite lip combo. I literally do this lip combo every day. Um, so I've got the lip balm on already, which is just really nice and hydrating. 
I line my lips with my MAC Spice Lip Pencil. Like so. And then I use my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dhabi. Again, I've used this lip cream for, oh my God, the longest time. Like when I was at college, I'd like to do in the right so do we need to cut bits off of the tree then yeah. look how insane my bonsai tree is jack got me this for what was it for my birthday i think so my birthday was it um I don't know what it was for, but he bought this for me and I absolutely love it. Look how many new shoots there are. Also, about, what was it, like a month ago? It was It died, yeah. Like, completely died. It went brown and died. But I've got a little watering can. And whenever the stones get dry, I just water it a little bit. But yeah, if anyone has any, like, bonsai tips, Sorry if you can hear that shouting, it's my brother. It's on Xbox, like an actual 12 year old. Um, but I'm just making our dinner. Jack's got some, oh God, lighting's a bit bright. Jack's having chicken katsu, like uh, chicken fillet ma marinated in like um, katsu sauce. And then we're just gonna do, blah, blah, I'm just gonna do some vegetables and like sweet potato. I cut sweet potato really thin and then just roast it. It's so nice. And then I'm just having sea bass um, with the same vegetables and stuff. And yeah, we're just watching TV, nice and chilled. Today is Wednesday. I look a bit crazy because I've got my toner in my hair. I've had so many questions about my hair on Instagram recently. And if you haven't already seen how I'm like toning my hair from home just to really dull down the blonde and just make it look like my natural brown, then I will link that video down below for you to go and have a look and see how I did it. Because I filmed the whole process. Um, my mum uh, is a beauty therapist, so she has like um wholesale and stuff so we're able to buy the products that you need but i'm pretty sure you could do your research online and find something similar if you wanted to do the same um but you can get toners at home and like purple shampoos and things that are super strong and work really well so yeah i'm toning my hair right now it's actually quite late i've already been doing loads of work went for a walk this morning um did a pilates workout which you would have seen and i'm now just getting ready I'm heading into London in a couple of hours to, God, actually in an hour and a half, I better hurry up, um, to check into a hotel. We're staying in London tonight, we're around like Kensington area, we're going to the La Perla 
times harvey nichols event tonight which i cannot wait for so we're gonna get glam go to an event have some drinks have loads of fun so yeah let's do a little transition and hopefully i'll be looking a lot nicer i'm ready did that even work i don't know but my hair is done it just the toner just makes it so much more like chocolatey and gets rid of all like the blonde tones from the bottom so anyway i'm all dressed and ready i'm just wearing this super old um jumper from zara but there, i think there is a similar one at h&m i'll try and link everything down below that i'm wearing and stuff um this has got like a super high neck but i tuck it in because it's a bit too much and then i'm just wearing these like leggings i guess which are they've got like a split hem can you see that like a little split hem they're really nice they're really comfortable really flattering these are from oh polly i'll link these below as well hello everyone i'm now in london i'm in our hotel room had a bit of a palaver with the hotel rooms but that's a story for a different day all is good i'm in the room i've stayed in this hotel before i am paying for this by the way and um yeah i love it it's really nice just super easy and it's really good when you're not really going to be in the room but it's such a comfy bed the nicest bed ever look how comfy this is um so yeah my plan now i think it's like half three grace gets here in an hour so i think i'm just gonna um get my outfit out for tonight so it doesn't get creased and then i'm gonna go for a little walk I'm really hungry. I want to get some snacks for us. We have got like, I think like canapes and things at the event later. So um, I'm just going to get us some little snacks, maybe some drinks or something and have a little walk, kill some time and then come back and wait for her to get here. And then we can start getting ready, which I'm very excited about. I haven't actually vlogged anything since I got Grace from the station because we've just been chatting. But um we just went to the shop and got some crisps because i'm really hungry and we got these these crisps are amazing 10 out of 10 recommend and we also got a little pre-drink i'm so excited for tonight i also love my outfit which i will show you once i've got it on properly but this is basically what it's like i'm very excited so we're just gonna top up our makeup get ready have a chat and get in an uber and head over to harvey nichols which is where the event is i'm gonna introduce you <laughs> here's grace <laughs> i was just saying how i do <laughs> you're like a ghost in the van <laughs> you're about to say funny <laughs> yeah but i can't say that. oh um i was literally just saying how i hadn't vlogged you i literally i literally just vlogged like i'm just going to get grace from the station now i'm here and now she's here. Cheers. Have you opened your drink yet? No. Oh, try. Do you like them? Yeah. I've been like really getting oh, into gin at the moment. Cheers. Okay, I am ready. I thought I'd just show you my outfit before we leave. Um, this is a really old Zara blazer. And then this like bralette is from Topshop. Again, really old. My trousers are from Because of Alice, which I feel like you know already i wear my blazers are from because of alice i absolutely love them and then i've just got my dual heels and my chloe bag which i've just like double strapped under here so it's like a shorter one rather than a crossbody that's what i'm wearing Such good music. I don't think oh, we're even gonna focus. 
Um, but we met so many girls, so many girls that I know already and haven't seen for ages and then loads of girls that I talk to all the time on Instagram and finally met. And it's so funny because everyone saw Grace and was they like, oh, you're Jack's sister. <laughs> so funny. It's literally because I post you on all my stuff yeah. and you're literally in every oh single God. video all the time. I remember me trying to explain it though, trying to explain how we know each other and I'm like, well basically it's a long story. <laughs> yeah, I know. But we're good friends. And you kept saying, you kept, you kept saying, <laughs> my girlfriend's brother. <laughs> I'll be your girlfriend, honey. Um, but it's 8.30 and we're just gonna go and have some like bar snacks, some drinks. The night is young. Hell yeah, baby. Although, I do feel like such a mum today. <laughs> we walked out of the event and we were both like at the same time. What did we say? That was fun. <laughs> at the such same time. Fun. Oh, that was fun. It was such fun. But yeah, we had such a good time. Oh, we need to go down there. No, it's fine. Um, but yeah, it was fab. We had such a good time. Very good. And also, so we got psycho. No, we don't. <laughs> We go this way. We got some um, little goodie bags as well, which is lovely. And actually, I will, tomorrow, I'll show you the fragrance that we both got the same. I'll oh, yeah. show you the one that we picked because it smells unbelievable. I didn't really know La Perla did perfumes. Yeah, just, yeah, it's really nice. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Lisa, <laughs> <laughs> did you lose your shoes? My shoe did not just go down the street then. <laughs> oh look how pretty the view is. I feel like it's about like midnight. <laughs> look at the view. London did just not try to follow me up. <laughs> Today is Thursday. I was gonna say Friday then. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday. We are. We just went out to get a chai latte, and it. What's the time? It's like half. Ten. No, but I want it for a photo. Uh, half ten. Half ten. That's quite good. Um, we were feeling a bit tired this morning. Grace was feeling a bit rough. Too much champagne. We ended up um, after the last clip that I filmed. We ended up going to Sexy Fish and stayed there for like quite a few hours. Quite a long time. Yeah. Longer than I thought. We got some champagne there. It was quite good. It was like a DJ. Um, yeah, it was fun. And then we ended up going back to the hotel and um, we wanted to order a pizza because we were so hungry. So we didn't really eat the dinner. Um, but everything was closed. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Those people love you so much. <laughs> Go somewhere else and do that. I know. Oh, there's so many cute dogs. We're in Holland Park. There's literally so many dogs. Um, yeah, but we couldn't order anything because um, everything was shut. So we found a local pizza place and I rung and said, like, do you do delivery? He said, no. Oh, my battery's flashing. Damn. Um, so anyway, we ended up going there and it was like a party. We literally <laughs> went in our pyjamas <laughs> at two in the morning yeah. and we ended up like dancing on the table. <laughs> so, so random. Funny. But it was very hilarious. So anyway, we're gonna shoot some outfits today and then go for lunch or something. And then I've got my massage with Cordley, which I'm very excited about in Notting Hill. So I'll take you along to that. I might have to film on my phone because my camera's probably gonna die. And then Grace is gonna go back to Leeds and leave me. Leave you, so sad. But the event was so good. Oh, I really, I really it. yeah, it was so, so good. And I'll show you the fragrances that I picked um, when I get home as well. So I haven't vlogged for a while, but Grace has gone home, she's gone back to Leeds. So I have just had lunch on my own. I'm sat at um, Dalesford Cafe. I really loved it in the Cotswolds and we walked past in Notting Hill and I thought, oh, I'm gonna sit there and have lunch. So I had like a chicken grain bowl. You can make your own bowl. And that's what was left. I couldn't eat it all, so I'm gonna bring it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to my massage now. I've got it in like five minutes. So I don't know if I'll be able to vlog in there, but I'll let you know how it goes. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday and I am just sat down to edit 
it's actually not the morning either it's one o'clock i've just sat down to edit um the video i had to run out and do some errands this morning i've got my salad left over from yesterday and yeah i've just sat down to edit the vlog so i thought i'd end it off here i had such a nice like couple of days in london it was so so good shot some really good content um, i actually just want to share with you the perfumes that i chose at the event look at this packaging it's absolutely beautiful um this is called invisible touch it's like a super light fresh fragrance on their kind of spectrum of fragrances this one is at the like complete light fresh everyday kind of scent it's so nice i absolutely love it although you would think a lighter fragrance is quite summery it's actually not like it's just so fresh and easy to wear i don't think it's seasonal yeah it's really really lovely um i'm just obsessed with the fragrance and also because it is a more higher end fragrance it's going to last a lot longer you're not gonna find that it's like wearing off after a couple of hours and then the one that i love that i chose was um just just give me roses this is called and this is the like mini size this is so beautiful it's really similar to like pen halligan's halfetti and cairo like those kind of scents um a little bit similar to my byredo slow dance but that one is a bit lighter i think this is a proper like autumnal evening like really nice scent i love this so i'll leave them link down below if you want to go and try them yourself i really recommend them had such a good time and my massage yesterday was amazing it was so good i was so relaxed when i got home i had planned to edit the vlog and get it up and i was just so tired so i thought right i'm just gonna like listen to my body i'm gonna go to sleep relax I was kind of on a bit of a wave from the massage so i was like i just want to enjoy it and then yeah edit the vlog today so i hope you don't mind i hope you enjoyed this video and as always don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below let me know what you're up to if you liked the video and i will see you in my next one